because when we first met, we fell madly in love, and I loved the dramatic exit. There's nothing I craved more than like, you know, the first year you're working out your kinks, I loved it. I would like, we'd get in a fight, because we would fight a lot, and I'd like yell something, then I'd slam the bedroom door, then I'd slam the front door, <laughs> then I'd get in my car, and then I'd skid out the driveway, and then I'd just go like sit around the corner in my car. <laughs> and it felt so good, and I realized how incredibly toxic it was only after he pointed it out. Three months into our relationship, he was like, yeah, you can't, um, you can't leave anymore during fights. I'm not going to do that. And I was like, what? He was like, you can't do that. I'm not going to have a relationship. He has a very high standard. Wow, that's impressive. And a strong impressive. code of ethics. He's like, no, I have more respect for myself than to be in, I love you, but I'm not going to do that my whole life. And I was like, <gasps> Was that attractive when he said that? Wow. <laughs> so then he said, but, but here's how evolved he is. He said, let's just help you. You're not a good fighter. And I, was, and I always thought I was, because I you won. Right. <laughs> He's like, no, people can't do that. Our marriage won't survive. And everything he was saying was making so much sense. And I was like, damn, this guy. Well, so he's he, an exception to the rule, it sounds like. Yeah, but it, it's... I'm too it, stupid to have thought no, of any of that No, it stuff. means people can get there. So he said, how about the next time we fight, you're allowed to um, leave the room, but not the house. And I was like, OK, fine. The next fight, I left the room. I slammed the bedroom door. Couldn't leave the front door. And I'm standing at the front door going like, <laughs> I want to leave so bad, but I really love him, and he told me I couldn't, and he said it was a deal breaker for him, so I got to stay in the house. I got to compromise. Did he have the little white flags up, like for the dog fence, where you couldn't go past them? In my head, he did. Oh. In my head, he did. It was, and because I knew that he said to me, I have more respect for myself than to do this my whole life. So then the next time we fought, he was like, now that you've done that, he's like, now you can't leave the room. He's like, you can stop talking, but you can't leave the room. So then we'd like have an argument, and I'd just sit there, and then I'd like, mean text him just like because I didn't want to talk to him anymore but I would like text him this is getting very personal guys but no this is this is fascinating going because what I'm realizing is that it sounds you're supposed to be training him and you kind of got trained you got trained a little I got bit. majorly trained gee whiz I got and the fact that you're yeah. okay but and now we fight beautifully. We, can, we actually disagree about 99% of the things on the planet, but we have an ultimate respect for each other. And he sort of said, no, we, we're allowed to disagree. You just can't be like crazy when we're fighting.